Okay, so I run 32-bit operating systems mostly on my Pi 4, uh, basically because the compatibility is better. So programs and applications, you tend to get more that run on a 32-bit operating system on the Pi 4. Now, hopefully this will change in the future, but uh, I often get the comment that 64-bit runs faster, and I figured I'd give it a test. So I've tried to replicate the same system. So I've got two Pi 4 4 gigs. I've got the one on the left here, uh, which is running the 32-bit operating system and the one on the right here is running the 64-bit operating system. I've got two monitors so I can run them at the same time and uh, I can run the same apps and software and just do a real-time test to see which one in the real world is, is the better operating system at the moment, how much difference it makes. I'm also powering it from the same power adapter so they've got the same power going into them. So let's start this up and uh, and see how we get on so let's turn on that monitor and both pies will get power at the same time and we'll see which one is faster don't know which one is which oh you can see the boot is faster on the bottom screen but i don't know if that's the 64 gig one or the 32 bit one at this stage but i'll be able to tell when it boots up so the 32 bit one was faster at boot 64-bit one, I still don't know what it's doing at the bottom. Oh, it's still doing something. And these operating systems have been updated to the same level, the same customization. Everything has been done exactly the same to them. So there's nothing to hold one back over the other. Crikey, the 64-bit is much slower. There you go. So it's booted up now. So definitely round one goes to 32-bit. So the 64-bit one is this one uh, with the with Maxit touchscreen monitor, but I'm not using touchscreen because I figured that could make an impact on it. And the 32-bit one is this one. So the 32-bit operating system is running on this Pi in the plastic case and on the Acer monitor. So let's see what happens if we do a reboot. Well, that was the 64-bit ever so slightly, so that's not so bad. You see I'm getting a power warning thing because it's running two from the same adapter, but that's not too much of a problem. It only does it on certain bits. So I'm going to do the startup test again because the restart was very similar. So 64-bit was faster that time. <laughs> very strange. Now I'm going to paste an identical file from my NAS drive over to the desktop for video editing. 64 bits taken the lead. Yeah, definitely faster on 64 bit. So let's open Handbrake and see how that is. So hit enter at the same time. Not much in it. And let's start encoding this video file at the same time. And I've got a low voltage warning on both of them, uh, but they're, they're in the same boat, so uh, we'll leave it. Maybe I need to order another official Raspberry Pi adapter. Be interesting to see how they cope with it. Yeah, both at 75 now. Got temperature warnings happening now. Uh, the I've got the thermometer was flashing on the 64-bit one momentarily there, uh, which it's not doing on the 32-bit, which is weird because that's up to 78, 79. This is at 80 degrees at the moment. Yeah, the temperature monitor came up on the 32-bit then as well. So they're, they're behaving pretty similarly. They're almost flashing together now. The estimated time is definitely less on the 64-bit, so 1 minute and 4 it says 1 minute 37 on the 32 bit. The line is the line is definitely further on here. So 64 bits done. Still waiting for the 32 bit. And you'll see the temperature will drop really quick. Well, you won't be able to see it because it's too small. But it's already down to 71. And that's done on the 32 bit now. And the temperature starts to drop really rapidly. Let's launch the web browser and load up a few web pages. 64 bit was a little bit quicker. And search at the same time. 
not much in that. Ever so slightly 64 bit again. And play the video at the same time. Sixty four bit was definitely faster. Oh, and that sign into YouTube was way slower on the thirty two bit. I was going to cut that bit out, but I'll leave that bit in. 32 bits definitely struggling. I've put both on 1080 and um, I don't know what it's doing at the moment, but let's press the space bar on both. Yeah, 32 bits not out of this for play now. Right, let's pause that and let's start them at the same time. And turn on stats for nerds at the same time. So let's let it play for a bit and then I'll compare the two. It's weird, I think video looks slightly smoother on the 64 bit, but I'm not sure if part of that is down to the WiMAX it being a much nicer display. But it just seems to be a little bit less jittery, but I'll pause it in a minute to see how many frames were dropped. Oh, let's pause it now. So on the 32 bit, it dropped 340 frames of 2,518. On the 64 bit, it dropped 133 frames of 2,579. So actually, video performance does seem to be better on the 64 bit, which is interesting. Good reason to switch on that. So let's do a search for Hot UK deals on both of them at the same time. So let's launch that at the same time. Yeah, 64 bits faster. And if we click on that cup of soup link at the same time. Yeah, 64 bit does definitely seem to be a little bit faster. So BBC News launching at the same time. Yeah, it's slightly faster on the 64 bit. Oh, it's refreshed itself. Oh, they're both refreshed themselves. It is definitely faster on the 64 bit on that. WebGL samples, let's launch those. And let's pick dynamic cube map. Fourteen FPS. Oh, it's, uh, oh no! <laughs> oh, they're changing between the two. So one's faster, and then the other one's faster. So it's currently twelve, thirteen, forty, and it's going right up to twenty-two, and it went right down to eleven on the sixty-four bit. So it's I can't really tell exactly on that because they're jumping around so much. And let's try open Lara and see how that loads. Sixty four bit was faster, quite a bit faster on that. Let's open a terminal on both. And I've put in the auto install script for things like PyApps, PyKiss, Raspberry Pi Imager, Gpartied, various things like that, to see how long it takes doing the whole process on both. So let's start them at the same time. It's looking very similar at the moment. PyApps has just appeared on the screen. So the 64 bit is definitely doing this faster. And it's completely all done on the 64, way before the 32. It's doing PyKiss now. Yeah, this is interesting because it definitely is faster on the 64 bit. Um, and there are quite a few things that it's been faster on and video performance was better. So I'm back on my favorite OS, Twister OS, uh, but this is still a 32 bit operating system. So uh, compatibility is a big thing and the amount of things that work with Twister OS is incredible. The amount of things that it comes installed with, plus also the ability to have Pi Apps and Pi Kiss is excellent. But if all that could change over to 64-bit, it could all be better. But this isn't going to happen until the Raspberry Pi Foundation makes the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS an official release and not a beta release. Uh, and also puts it in the Raspberry Pi Imager tool uh, so that more people can download it without having to search for it on forums and download it. Let's just switch into screen capture. So if you want to try out Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit beta, uh, 
I'll put a link in the description. Basically, don't download the first version. Uh, go down the bottom here and click on that. And the latest image is the 24th of August, and that's one I've been using, and I've been really impressed with it. Uh, and I had planned to finish this video on that operating system, but I did manage to break it. I used PyKiss to install GTA 3, and I thought, oh, I'll just give it a try, see if it works. Uh, put the necessary folders in, uh, and tried to launch it, and it, it didn't launch. So I installed Commander Py from PyApps, which seemed to work fine. I managed to overclock, and all that was all right. Uh, but then I thought, oh, I'll change the kernel. Maybe it will change the kernel to 32-bit and I can play GTA 3 on this operating system. Well, unfortunately, it never rebooted after that, so I did manage to wreck it. But it would be great to see all of this move over to 64-bit and uh, hopefully it can happen soon. Certainly when the Raspberry Pi 5 comes out, it would be really nice to see that only working on 64-bit operating systems. So hopefully... Uh, soon we can see the proper 64-bit be officially released and be supported and everybody can start working towards that system because the performance is better. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you've had working on the 64-bit operating system or haven't had working uh, because I'm interested to see. I didn't expect Commander Pi to work and, uh, and it installed and worked fine. And some other games and things do, but others don't. So it's a bit of a mixed bag at the moment. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.